welcome to my youtube channel my name is calvin johnson so i want to show you how to resolve outlook problem so if you are working with outlook and you are, you are always receiving the message um outlook not responding or your outlook is always freezing so i want to show you some different steps which you can use to resolve that problem um i've seen this problem a lot in my working place so i have um which based on the solution i applied to this problem so i will decide to make a video on how to help you if you are working from home or you are working in the office how to resolve this problem yourself so the first thing we want to make sure that we uh, we are not doing is if you are transferring a lot of files or you are trying to open a file that is very large of course sometimes outlook may freeze a little bit or you may receive a message and say that says outlook is not responding but if you think that is not the case and outlook keeps um freezing all the time so what we can do is i'm going to close outlook let me just close my file explorer so what you can do is you can go to your start menu here and then we're going to type outlook.exe and then we're going to open outlook in safe in safe mode so if i open outlook in safe mode so let me try to open outlook in safe mode yeah, it's okay, which um, I only have one profile here, so I'm just going to select this profile to open. So right now you can see that Outlook is opened in safe mode. So what I want to do is I want to check my add-ins to see if there are any add-ins which is actually blocking um, Outlook. Let me just go to options, yeah, and I go to add-ins and I go click go. So when I click go, I can try to see if there are any add-ins here which are blocking outlook or if you think there is a um, special um, add-ins you don't you don't recognize and you think that is causing the problem you can decide to actually uncheck that add-ins and just uncheck if you think that is that is the reason why um, outlook is getting freezed or there's um it's always you're you always receiving that message outlook not responding so you can uncheck that and then click ok so after clicking ok then you have to close out close outlook and restart outlook normally so just go to your start menu and then search for outlook or we can just decide to start outlook, outlook from my task bar so by starting outlook 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 is going to load your profile without asking you to select a profile then you know that you are starting outlook normally but if you think after um trying starting outlook in safe mode and the problem is still not solved what we can do is we can also as well check to see if we have the latest let me just go to see if we have the latest uh, version of outlook if outlook is up to date or we can check if we have some other version we, we can try to update outlook to see if there are any updates and has been lagged behind because sometimes when microsoft release um update in office it um it causes problems but they also release some patches we can as well fix that problem you can see that it says the latest version of office is installed on your computer so here i have the latest version now so if i think that did not solve the problem what i can as well do is to see if i can do a scan pst to actually scan my ost file and then try to see if that will resolve the problem so what i'm going to do is to actually scan your pst file so you can also go to your start menu here and type scan pst but sometimes it may not give you a, a, um, a result so what you need to do is just start, start file explorer so i'm going to show you the location where the scan psd is located but it depends on the version of outlook of office you are using so if you are using of um, office 32 bit or you are using office 64 bit the scan psd will be saved in different locations so i'm going to go to my c drive so my c drive here we have two we have the program files which is for the 32 bit the 64 bit and we have the program files you can see this x86 which means it's for the 32 bit so i'm using a 64 bit of office so i'm going to go to program files and the program files here we just double click on microsoft office and in microsoft office we have a folder called the root folder so click on the root folder and here we have um, office 15 and we have office 16 so click on office 16 and I'm going to search for the scan PSD. So by double clicking on the scan PSD, so automatically it's going to take you to probably it may take you to your um to your file like your um, archive file or your 
PST file, but I can decide to let me first of all close Outlook to be able to scan my file. So click Browse. So if I click Browse here, it takes me automatically to the right um, location. But for you, for you, it may take you to a location, maybe your documents or a different location wherever you have archived in the past. But to actually see if you want to scan your OST file is to go to this location as your user's name, your the users, your name, the app data, local, Microsoft, and Outlook. And here you can see I have different um, OST file. So I want to actually scan the file which is called Kelvin. Um, let me just scan this Kelvin Johnson. And probably if I feel that this um, this account is giving me problems. So let me just click open and then I'm going to scan this file. So it's going to say this is going to go very fast because I don't have a lot of mails in that file. You can see that it says uh, folders found on this in this file is 21 items found is zero so it goes very very fast and here i can just click okay but if you have a lot of file if i decide to scan my uh, gmail account it's going to take a long time because i have a lot of mails in that mailbox so just click okay and then start outlook again to see if that fixed the problem but if you think that did not fix the problem what we can as well do is to reduce outlook size by compacting outlook so you know every time you receive a lot of mails your mails grow your the, the, the size of your of your mailbox grow bigger so which of course is the same thing with your ost file so let me just go back to my file explorer let me go back to my local account my local disk my users so now users i'm going to go to my name and here you can see i, ha I have the app data so but probably if you're not seeing this app data it will be caused by when you go to view here and i see i have the option called hidden icons so let me just try to make this available so when i click on the sh hidden icon you can see that the app data disappeared but if i want to actually make that available so that i can see it what i need to do is just click on hidden items and the app data will be visible so click on app data and in app data click local and here we can click on the file the folder microsoft and then i'm going to go to outlook so here you can see i have the different ost file so with the different ost file like with the one of kelvin johnson you can see we just have like 16 um not about 16 megabytes of file which is not that too big so but here is where all your local all your file will be listed so probably if you if you have a lot of mails and the mails you have like a mail of about OST file of about two or five or ten gigabytes, so probably it may also make your Outlook to slow down. So what you can as well as well do is to compact that file to make it smaller. So to compact Outlook OST file or Outlook file, what you need to do is go to File, and here we have the Account Settings. So in Account Settings, select the the, the Outlook you want to. You want you want to compact and I want to compile this um, outlook my Kelvin Justin's Kelv global so I click change and here we're going to click more settings so click advance and here click outlook data file settings and here you can see we have the option compact now so you say reduce the size of your outlook data file so when I click compact now so it's going to compact this file. You can see it goes very fast because I don't have any mails in that mailbox. So just click OK and OK again. And click Next, Done. And here we can decide to close, just close this. Then close Outlook. And then, let me close this folder. And then start Outlook again. So this is also actually an option so and if you think the problem is still not solved i'm still, I'm still going to give you one option what you can actually do so what you can do is to repair office as a whole not outlook itself so what we can actually do i can decide to go to my control or just let me go to my programs and future i think i typed it wrong oh no okay let me stop it let me go to programs and future so in programs on future, I can decide to actually repair Microsoft Office apps. You can see I'm using the Microsoft 365 apps. So I can decide to repair this as well. But let me just do change. 
and click yes and here we have two options we can say we'll do a quick repair or do an online repair so the quick repair which fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection so i'm going to actually or you can do an online repair which fixes, fixes all issues but take a longer and requires an internet connection so i'm going to do a fix um a quick repair which we try to just repair my office so say this will let me just close outlook first before doing the repair so as you can see say we are preparing your office programs and this, this shouldn't take long so i'm going to pause this video and then start again when this has have been completed so just try and do this and it may help you out as well so after the repair completes you're going to receive this message say done repairing so we have finished repairing your office programs and future you cannot close this window and use your programs so you just click close and let me just close close this and then i'm going to open um outlook again so it's going to load my profile so but if you think that this did not solve your problem so i'm going to give you one last option what you can actually do to resolve this problem so the last option i'm going to give you is this what you can do is to create a new outlook profile so let me go to um, control panel so if i open control panel here i've actually changed my view to normally when you open control panel for the first time it's going to go to category so i've changed it to large icons so that i can see everything very well and here we have the mail microsoft outlook so when i click on microsoft outlook yeah yeah you can see we have the um, email accounts data files and profiles so here we say set up multiple profiles of email account and data files so if you think you're having problem with this i can decide to actually create a new profile by just creating let me just call this kelvin and then click ok so by click 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 um uh, doing that so it's going to ask me to actually create a new account so let me just create a new account with this account uh, with my kelvin johnson which i think is giving problem in the previous profile i created so i'm just going to enter my password then enter my password again and then click next so it's going to search because this is an office 365 account so it's going to just going to search and see if that account exists and you can see that account exists it's going to say finish and so right now i have the option to actually if i click ok and let me go let me go back again to my outlook profile and i say show profile here you can see that if i start um, outlook for the first time it's going to start it's going to start with this profile outlook that's the one that was giving me the problem but i can decide to prompt for a profile or i can decide to use the new one i just created so i'm going to click apply okay so when i start outlook now you can see it's loading fine it's to retrieve my mailbox so this is going to take a little bit longer depends on how big your mailbox is because i'm doing this for the first time and i'm creating this a new archive profile i just created so it's going to actually try to retrieve, retrieve my mailbox but um, i don't have a lot of mails in this mailbox so definitely it's going to go more faster and you can see that right now um, outlook is setting up a local copy of your mailbox it may maybe several minutes until all of your data is available so that's how you try to solve the problem of outlook not responding or um is trying to is freezing all the time my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also like my video for me taking time to create this video and also please you can also share this video if you think this video can be of a great help to someone thank you very much and please subscribe to my channel for more it related video goodbye